Hi everyone, it's Natalie here, and um, <clears throat> I just finished doing the uh, preliminary practice for Tibetan mode of nation. Um, and I have this beautiful uh, lit candle. There we go. It's got beeswax and honey, and it's yellow, and um, I'm so happy to have it. It's such a beautiful addition to the practice. So. <clears throat> um, and it absolutely demanded being used today. So uh, there we have it. Nothing, nothing else would suffice. So I'm kind of eager to see what our divination for the week is going to be because um, what I had coming through was pretty strong. Uh, I dare say we have possibly more Tsa energy. <sighs> we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Um, I definitely had this week. I definitely had the white umbrella of good fortune this week. Um, it was really a pretty easy week as weeks go. Um, yeah, I would say so. We had, um, we had more heat, like extreme heat, and then the heat broke, and it's been really lovely the last day or so, and, you know, we had, uh, we have new window air conditioners, so nothing to complain about there. Um, they really help and make a big difference. Um, so for that, I'm very grateful. Um, that said, let's go ahead and see what we, what we have for the week. I, I am wondering too, before I go further, if you are really going to miss having the ritual, uh, and the preliminary practice at the beginning, please let me know. Um, it's not that big of a deal to edit and put it in. It's just another step. And sometimes the extra steps can feel like a lot. So um, I don't, you know, the practice itself, I of course don't mind because I have to do it before, before I do the mow, before I toss the mow. Um, anyway, but <clears throat> whether or not I keep it in the video, let me know. I suspect a lot of you probably miss it. Um, but uh, some of you will feel pretty indifferent. Just let me know one way or the other. All right. So uh, moving forward, first week of August. So the first of August, which is uh, Sunday through Saturday the 7th. Kind of a nice way to work out there, the whole full calendar. <sighs> Oh, okay. So Ra. Okay, I understand now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Ra is the first one. That's our outer. Ra is related to the throat or the voice. Um, speech, fire, the Padma family. Um, could go either way. Could go either way. We'll find out. We'll find out. So we want to know now what is the inner aspect, the inner aspect. <sighs> okay. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Ah. So that's good. That means there's like a freedom. Um freedom uh, of voice, speech, um, a clear path for moving forward with anything that has to do with um, magnetizing or drawing in what you need. So I would say probably like um, pulling in, pulling in any energy to do with uh, manifesting, you know, or trying to draw things towards you. Let's see what we get in the cards. We're looking for Ra. Ah, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. So yeah, yeah, Ra. Ah, the bright lamp. So if Ra. Ah, the so fire. Remember? Yeah. If it appears in one's own mind. Oh, here we go. One's own mind is very clear and excels just as a lamp excels in expelling darkness. May it be so, my friends. <laughs> May it be so. That makes so much sense. Um, yeah, that makes sense for the strong uh, appearance of our deity that I just saw when I was doing the practice. He came through and he like slashed his sword um, and it was like flaming. Um, and then he burst out laughing. 
and then he like blew everything out of the way and then was really peaceful and came forward and I was like oh, okay and then dissolved right into like bright light which is always the way and then the bright light went straight in so it there was no like process to any of it it was just very quick and very fast um, it makes so much sense now I understand okay so last week we had uh, oh yeah we talked about this the white umbrella of good fortune this week uh, we have the butter lamp which is very nice is that what they called it the butter lamp the bright lamp but it's it's a butter lamp because um, we're talking about the Tibetans aren't we uh, everything is butter lamps so Ra ah that would be first in the raw category Ra ah the bright lamp <clears throat> so the sign of this divination is known as the bright lamp without wind interesting so I guess that I don't know I don't know I won't over analyze what I saw <clears throat> all right family property and life these are currently favorable under this aspect so intentions and aims you can do just as you wish there will be success yay friends and wealth the current situation is good enemies none will arise you may hear that your enemies are a long way off but they will not be able to harm you so we may hear news about our enemies if we have any um, but wherever they are there there's no opportunity for them to do anything that would upset or dis or, or harm guests you will hear clear news about them and their journey will be comfortable so all of your text messages will go through as they're supposed to about your guests arriving and so forth wow this one's very telling illness your illness will get worse so we're looking at overall conditions friends you know when seeing that I mean that's where we are right now in the state of Missouri uh, and throughout a lot of the United States, the illness, uh, otherwise known as um, the coronavirus, is getting worse. This is not a shock. This is not a shock. Um, this is what's known as a mediocre divination. So it's not all good. And it's not all bad. It's got a. It's got its own, you know, area. You know, those. These are the conditions that provide for things being positive in some areas and negative in others right so with a bright lamp and a fire if there's something that's burning through we think about illness and fever that would make a lot of sense there's nothing that's obstructing that fever um evil spirits do we already see evil spirits or we just did enemies no we did enemies okay Evil spirits, there is no evil spirit bothering you. Your trouble is arising due to the power of previous deeds, but there will be no harm. So basically it's saying that if you've done things that were um, unhelpful in past and you're experiencing difficulty now, it's not, regard, it's not because there's an evil spirit bothering you, it's because karma, you know, karma and, and the law, or, or just simply the laws of cause and effect, right? Um, spiritual practice this is good there will be no obstacles to your practicing by yourself which you know for me that's a really good thing because I tend to practice by myself um, lost article if you search in a southwesterly direction from where it was lost you will find it that makes sense um, Padma is always in the southwest or the west. Is it the west? Is it always the west? Yes, yes. It's usually the west or the south, depending. There can be some little negotiation there. Um, so southwest as a negotiation is probably about right. So yeah, look in a southwesterly direction from where your lost item was was misplaced, and you'll find it. Will they come and will the task be accomplished? Let's see. If you commence with diligence, there will not be any obstacles and it will be accomplished. So if you start whatever you're getting ready to do with, uh, with great diligence, you, you'll move straight through it. 
So I guess just jump in and don't hesitate, like go for it. All remaining matters, no faults will be encountered in whatever activities you undertake. Read sutras such as the Kalpa Bhadra Sutra and rely upon lotus deities such as Amitayas, Kurukuli, mm, I don't know this third one, Marisi. I immediately wanted to make it Italian and say Marici, but that, that can't be right. M A R I C I, Marisi, and the like. If you practice the meditation of Hunkara, Father, Mother, and Red Garuda, then you will have success. Rely upon such Dharma protectors as the great deity Simar. Obstacles will be prevented from arising by clearing roads and walkways. Nice, clearing roads and walkways. I can see that. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Performing fire rituals also makes sense and so on. And in this way, you will accomplish your wishes. So lighting incense, lighting candles, candle rituals. So any of you who are into witchy things that are not Buddhist, you know, I think some of the translations here are pretty straightforward, right? Work with, work with fire, <clears throat> working with fire, working with the directionality of south and southwest or west. Um, you know, that whole corner of the pie. Um, Yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot to benefit from here. Um, this prediction is known as the one who helps oneself. So I would say, too, this is obviously the case, that if you want to engage in any form of self-help, this is a great time for that to take place. And for some of us, that's... It's always a beneficial thing to see and understand, isn't it? Yeah. So, very positive this week. Very, very positive this week. All right. So, let me know how you get on, friends. Let me know how you get on. I so enjoy doing these uh, divinations and sharing them with you and sharing the learning that's occurring and taking place with the process. Um... Yeah, it's really lovely. So let me know how you're getting on and uh, enjoy having the bright lamp light your way for the coming week. All right, take care everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye.